two, one, and liftoff. Off the top, I'd like to say, Bud, would you ever steal no. a jersey from a locker room? No, I would borrow one. <laughs> so we're not those kind of guys. Right. Uh, number three, the jersey I'd steal is Johnny Manziel, because I think you could get away with it because people would just assume that he lost it. Right? Like Tom Brady couldn't find his jersey, and everybody was like, well, he's so responsible, someone must have stolen it. If Johnny Manziel had said, someone stole my jersey after the game, nobody would have believed him. Plus, it gives you the option of wearing a wig with it if you want. <laughs> That's a good joke. Number two, uh, Albert Bell, just to like see what he would do to you, right? Uh, and number one, J.R. Smith, because if you stole his jersey, then he would just play shirtless. I like that. I, I almost saw what Albert Bell could do to somebody when he's unhappy, so I, don't wanna, I wouldn't want to revisit that. Larry Doby, historical reasons, okay? Fine answer. Two, world be free. Come on. Nice message. One of message the great there. characters. Yeah, and, and a great message, right? right? Don't you want the world to be Absolutely. free? Absolutely, and one of the great characters ever in Cleveland sports. And number one is an obvious one for me. And only, I mean, it's such a good answer. Do you Brian Shaw. Brian Shaw. I'd have a major league jerk. Did I ever tell you about the time I pitched in a Catholic league? Well, no, I didn't. I was no, you told, tell the story then. No, we don't have time. The bullpen phone rang 25 times, and you <laughs> never answered it, so the manager So there, the that's end. the reason why I didn't have a major league career. I wouldn't mind having a major league when's jersey your birthday? with Shaw. When's, when's your birthday? August. All right, I'm getting it for you.